Hey everyone, as you might have heard, Google is going to kill their popular Google Reader by July 1st this year. And yes, that's awful, it was the best RSS reader and so on. But there's no point crying about that, it's done and we have almost 4 months to find an alternative for it. This clip is going to help, as we're going to show you our favorite services that can replace Google Reader right now. To start with, let's have a look at Feedly, which seems to be the best G-Reader alternative of the moment. First of all, this service works as a browser extension on Macs and PCs, but also on iOS and Android devices. Second, it integrates with your Google account, so actually moving your feeds from Google Reader to Feedly is fast and simple. Besides that, Feedly and Google Reader are synchronized with each other, so when you'll add a feed or modify one in one place, it's going to be updated in the other as well. And third, but definitely not least, Feedly seems to be a fast and reliable solution most of the time, while displaying your feeds as links, close to what you're already familiar with from GReader or as a beautiful flipboard-like magazine. But how's possible for Feedly to integrate so closely with your Google account? Well, right now their algorithm is based on the Google Reader API. However, Feedly officials have stated that they're working on a new backend for their service that will work independently of GReader and will be deployed before July 1st. We'll see how that's going to play out, but at least for the moment Feedly is our top Google Reader alternative. NetVibes is another service that might replace Google's RSS Reader for some of you, but it's actually closer to another soon-to-be-defunct Google service, iGoogle, and that's because its interface is built around widgets able to display various types of information. Among these widgets, there are some that can display content from RSS feeds. So in a way, NetVibes can be used to stay in touch with your news, but only in a way, since this tool is actually quite rudimentary and lacks many of the features you might be already familiar with from GReader. You can't save an article so you can read it later, you can't share your favorite posts, and you don't get iOS or Android apps. But if you really want something simple and you're into this type of interface that gathers all sorts of info together, NetVibes might do just fine for you. And then there's Flipboard, which is probably one of the most appealing newsreaders of the moment. It only works on iOS and Android devices right now though. It allows you to surf through your news in a gorgeous looking and touch friendly magazine style and it integrates seamlessly with Google Reader. Speaking of that, if you're already logged in on Flipboard with your Google account, then you've got nothing to worry about as all your GReader feeds are safely backed up here as well. So all in all, Flipboard is actually a very very good RSS reading app. But it's just an app, so it only works on mobile devices, as there's no Flipboard desktop version or browser extension, thus you can't really use it on a PC or a Mac like you could with Google Reader. But hopefully they'll add these features in the near future as well. Google Currents is a viable alternative for Flipboard and you should definitely check it out. Just like Flipboard, it displays content in a magazine style way, it suggests sources based on various criteria and it allows you to add your own RSS feeds if you want to. However, I find it a bit more complicated to set up than Flipboard, plus it's just not as smooth in everyday use. And besides that, I'm not sure how many of you are actually keen on replacing a Google product that was very popular and yet was cut off with one that's yet to have caught people's interest and might suffer a similar fate in the future. Anyway, these are right now my favorite Google alternatives. If you want a cross-platform solution, Feedly is at the moment your best option, although not perfect. If you're looking to read your news on mobile devices, Flipboard and Google Currents are probably better solutions. And if by any chance you're not fond of any of these options, you should check out some of the others, like Newsblur, Pulse, Fever, The Old Reader, Tab2 and so on. Although most of them are based on the Google Reader API, so have an uncertain future. On top of that, I'm sure we'll see many of these apps get more versatile in the months to come and probably some new entries as well. So if you happen to spot a good one, make sure to tell me about it in the comments below. So in the end, although Google Reader has been my only RSS reader for many years now, I'm pretty sure I find a worthy successor for it in the months to come. I'm not glad it was cut off, but there's nothing I can do about it except for finding a replacement. Alright, that's about it for now. Thank you very much for watching and make sure you leave a thumbs up to this clip if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. I'll catch you later. Thank you.